today we're going here, which is Ferrari Land, and for one reason, one reason only, only the tallest roller coaster in Europe. I've um, got about half an hour to wait until it opens, and then hopefully, we're straight on Red Force, maybe once or twice. Get out of these there. Not me. Roller coaster. Ferrari land. Home of the tallest roller coaster in Europe. Just look at that. Amazing. Some of the architecture as well. And other than Red Force. It's really quiet. Lovely on the rides. Walk on.
Shambhala there.
Sonrisa, fierro, agro, fierro, fierro, y hacemos una gran mariposa con la mano de Triqui la mariposa. Perfecto, Triqui, segunda oportunidad, ¿estás preparada? Sí, pues lento. from uh, almost sunny saloon in Spain so today this will be my third time going into Port Aventura world but today is the main attraction it's because I'm on my own and I plan to go and join in and have a go at all the major attractions here the thrill rides Shambhala Dragon Khan Stampeda the water rides etc etc so it's Monday here. Let me just get my ring out. You know, it is definitely Monday. Avoided going in at the weekend. We don't know how that was going to be. But so far, it's just gone half past nine. There's a lot of people already going towards Port Adventure World. So it means it could be busy. So I've gone ahead, bought myself Express Pass. So there's different versions you can get get from the hotel or you can get them in the park but I decided to get mine at the hotel whether it's cheaper or not I don't know but my express pass guarantees me unlimited express on the big attractions plus I get to go on the first row of three of the major attractions which I presume is Shambhala, Dragon Khan, maybe Takuki Splash as well I'm not sure but it's going to be good. So stay with me as I give you updates for the day of how it's going, plus some footage off ride as well. Right, let's go and join the very busy queue to get into Port Ventura. And let's start the day by going straight to Shambhala. Okay, I've just had a thought as I come into the park. They give me a paper copy of my express ticket. And if I'm planning to go on all these water rides, and I've already been on Angkor, by the way, and it, you will get absolutely drenched, then what's going to happen to a paper ticket? I don't really want to leave it on the side because it's, it's worth a lot of money. Anyway, they've just been testing 
Fury's back on. And yeah, I forgot to mention that earlier on. A few people have gone in that direction, but I don't think it opens just yet. And that's one of the other things about this park is that they stagger the opening times of the rides. So I could be heading to a ride that's not open until half 10, 11 o'clock. But we'll see anyway. I'm gonna head off in the direction where everybody else is going. But I don't mention this previously, the park is so clean and tidy, well kept, well maintained. We look at these flowers. Just makes it, just adds that element of extra to it. Anyway, off I go. to 10 so this is the challenge I set myself and see how many rides I can get on just using express so I'm going to try and go for two on each of the main attractions let's see what time I finished so just been testing Dragon Khan you seen some of the footage then I'm about to join the queue Shambhala as the tense music hits just at the right time there but there it is Can't wait, like a kid at Christmas. Now I think I made a boo boo already. Shambhala only up to half ten, Dragon Khan looks like. It's already on. I mean, I'm the only one in the queue, it's mess. But, uh, never mind, I'm gonna be a time. So, well, something that I see a lot in videos is talking about the operations here at Port Ventura, which is something I'm going to comment on today. But so far, we're not even at quarter past ten, and Dragon Car, this must be the fourth or fifth time it's gone round already. They're yeah, getting them out really fast, which is good. I'm starting to think I didn't need Express today, but never mind. Let's hear the screams. Can't wait. So I've just had my first ever ride on Shambhala, Shami B. It's just going up again, look. So what scared me a little bit, not so much the ride, was that they didn't test it before we went on it. Um, and it was like dead on half past 10, I think, when we left. Because it's now just gone 25 to. The ride itself is absolutely amazing. And it's not so much the first drop. Just that slight pause before it goes down, that is where I swore, I'll be honest, I swore on that bit, but that was amazing, well worth the trip, well worth the wait, so much so, I'm going to go on it again.
quick update. So it's now quarter past 11. Bear in mind that the park's only been open for just about an hour. And I've done Shambhala and Dragon Khan twice. Okay, bear in mind, I have got Express. And where I thought before that Shambhala was at work in Express, it definitely is for the rewrites. So Shambhala, the second time I went on the front row, and what I didn't tell you in the first one is that all you have is a lap bar. And my God, is that intense. It's probably the only ride I've ever been on where I am absolutely holding on to my seat for dear life. But seeing that ride 10 years old, it feels like it's brand new. Dragon Khan, now that's been here for a few years. It definitely showing it, it throws you around. First ride I got on the front row and it was great, although a little bit rocky at times. Second time it's towards the back and you didn't know where you were going and you were throwing everywhere. But brilliant ride, great up Shambhala in a different class and a different league. Alright, let's get on some more stuff. Maybe a water ride next, it's starting to get a bit warm. Decided instead to go for Holland Hurricane Condor, which is this. But they don't do express here for some strange reason. On this one. So the ride timer says 40 minutes. Let's see. Okay, so just to have my first trip on Hur Hurricane Condor, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, probably waited around I don't know, 50 minutes, something like that, 45, 50 minutes. So I said 40 minutes, so it wasn't too bad. But I didn't realise that they don't do express, and I didn't realise that they have a single rider queue as well, so I could have cut that time down. I could have signposted that better a little bit. So there it is in the background. It's an absolute beast. So depending on the look of the draw, which we stand on, whether you stand up or you sit down, I was stood up. Uh, it hurt my never reasons. And the other thing about the stand up one as well is you don't know when you're actually at the top. So you start going up slowly, then go up a bit faster, then you stop, and then it takes you up further. And then you're just waiting for that drop. And that drop is intense as well. And it doesn't do you favors for your never reasons when the brake hits at the bottom either. But Really good drop tower, recommend it. Red side, the blue side one. It just takes express, but just bear in mind it's not the comfiest of journeys without that. Uh, it's obviously old, and that's the thing about wooden roller coasters. I never know whether or not they're going to hurt or not. Coming from Warrington and Gulf of World, that ride should be knocked down. But this one needs a lot of work to make it enjoyable, in my opinion. Could be the size of me, could be my age, but it wasn't enjoyable. I don't think I'll be going on the blue side to see if that's any better. There's bigger things to go on. I've stopped for a bit of a break and I've come to the old steakhouse. There's some classic entertainment. 
and Big Dad's obviously staying in the hotel. We get this complimentary, which is nice. Apart from I had to pay one euro for the cup, which I'll get back. Some nice, some nachos, fish and chips. Is that Mexican? Don't know. And a chocolate brownie. Not bad. So food was amazing in Mexico. Now time to get wet. See, it's really hot today. But I think everyone else has got the same idea with me. Only the queue for the log flu. Which is uh, it's 1 hour 20. Let's see what it's like with Express. Interestingly, Stampede, which is one, the roller coaster which never killed me. But I'm still long gone it. It's one and a half hours. So it is turning out to be a busy day. Thank God for Express. I was on within five minutes, Express wins again. That is a great log flume. Fast, three drops on there. I think the first drop was very really unexpected, caught by surprise, and probably the wettest as well. But they got a big drop at the end as well, which is always good. So yeah, definitely recommend it. Right, well, I'm wet. Let's go and see what the, uh, the canyon gives me. On the Grand Canyon Rapids, they're probably the fastest flowing rapids I've been on. But you, you don't get wet at all on them, they're fine, especially if you've got younger children, it's fine. Uh, unless somebody pays for this. You might get wet then, but nobody was on. Nobody was on, thankfully, when we were on. The only other thing to mention is that again, that takes fa fast track express. But it's difficult to find where to go and you do have express you have to really look for the signs and go on there on the rapids and for the lock flume as well it wasn't very easy to find where you actually go for express but when you get there you basically walk on which is great well, that was a splash. This is the wettest I've been. That was some ride. I tell you, you broke this lift over here and then one comes down at the same time, like it did for us, you are going to be wetter than water itself. A great ride. Perfect way to cool down. 10 out of 10 on that one. And express worked well as well, again. Let's wait for this one to go down and then you can see exactly, in fact I'll put it in the video, exactly what it's like. So when you last saw me, I was a little bit wetter than this, uh, but I've since had another go on Dragon Khan, and that just literally eats you up and throws you out like a piece of meat. It just throws you everywhere, but I, I do love the ride. It is great. And then I had two, yes, two more goes on Shambhala, one at the front and one at the back. One at the front, I'll tell you what, the first drop was, was worse on that one than it was this morning. It's definitely warmed up and on the back, wow. It was just extreme, but what a ride. Amazing. One of the best coasters I've ever read, uh, rode on. And then I've then had a go on Furious Backo on the way out, which hopefully in a second it will go past me. It will be good timing. And that was, I was at the back, and that was a bit uncomfortable, if I'm honest. It wasn't the best ride that I've had today, but still a good experience, and it absolutely throws you out of that 
uh, uh, that, that first exit. Uh, amazing ride. So, I've done all I can today. I'm going to go back to the hotel and spend a bit of time with my family because I'm actually on holiday with them, which would be good. So thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow we're going to go to the uh, the aqua park that's on site. We'll, I'll put some highlights on after this. But if you like it, is anything I'm missing? Do you agree with the rides that I've had on today? Do you agree with some of the comments that we've done? Um, I've had a brilliant time here at Horse Adventura and uh, I recommend anybody coming out here and doing it over a few days if you can, all inclusive and definitely express as well if you want to get everything in in a quick fashion. So that's all for me. Make sure you comment, you like, you share and subscribe if you want to. I'll see you next time. Enjoy. I'm going to have a look at the